The IRGC has ground, air and naval capabilities, and oversees Iran's ballistic missile program, regarded by experts as the largest in the Middle East. It has used the missiles to hit militants in Syria and northern Iraq. The US, European nations and Saudi Arabia blamed Iran for a 2019 missile and drone attack which crippled the world's biggest oil processing facility in Saudi Arabia. Iran denied any involvement in the assault. The IRGC has its own intelligence wing and has extensive conventional combat hardware which it showcased with its involvement in the conflicts in Syria and Iraq. Experts believe its stock of cruise and ballistic missiles have the ability and range to hit any target within the Middle East region. According to the U.S. Office of the Director of National Intelligence, Iran is armed with the largest number of ballistic missiles in the region. The semi-official Iranian news outlet Izna this week published details of missiles it said could reach Israel. These included the Sejil, which is capable of flying at more than 10,500 miles per hour and has a range of 1,550 miles. Another one, the Kaibar, has a range of 1,240 miles, while the Hajj Qasim can reach targets 870 miles away. Iran says its ballistic missiles are an important deterrent and retaliatory force against the US, Israel and other potential regional targets. It denies seeking nuclear weapons. Last August, Iran said it had built an advanced homemade drone named Mohajer 10 with an operational range of 1,240 miles. It can fly for up to 24 hours with a payload of up to 300 kilograms, 660 pounds, the Iranians claimed. In the summer of 2023, Iran presented what officials described as its first domestically made hypersonic ballistic missile, the official Erna news agency reported. Hypersonic missiles can fly at least five times faster than the speed of sound and can take a complex trajectory, making them difficult to intercept. The Arms Control Association, a Washington-based non-governmental organization, says Iran's missile program is largely based on North Korean and Russian designs and has also received Chinese assistance. It says Iran's short-range and medium-range ballistic missiles include Shahab-1, with an estimated range of 190 miles. Iran has cruise missiles such as KH-55, an air-launched nuclear-capable weapon with a range of up to 1,860 miles. An advanced anti-ship missile, the Khalid Fars, with an approximate range of 186 miles, is capable of carrying a 1.1-ton warhead. Iran has so far played no direct role in the Gaza conflict since it started six months ago. But it has been backing groups which have been attacking Israel, U.S. interests, and Red Sea shipping. Built up over decades of Iranian support, the groups describe themselves as the axis of resistance to Israel and U.S. influence in the Middle East. The Axis includes the Palestinian group, Hamas, but also the Hezbollah movement in Lebanon, and the Houthi movement in Yemen alongside various armed groups in Iraq and Syria. Lebanon's Hezbollah was set up by the IRGC in 1982 with the aim of fighting Israeli forces which had invaded Lebanon that year. The heavily armed group, also an influential political player, is widely regarded as more powerful than the Lebanese state. The Houthi movement established control over large parts of Yemen during a civil war which began in 2014 when it overthrew the government, which was backed by Saudi Arabia, Iran's main rival for regional influence.
The Houthis have long had friendly ties to Iran. The movement announced at the end of last October it had entered the Gaza conflict by firing drones and missiles towards Israel, and later attacked shipping in the southern Red Sea. The U.S. believes the IRGC has been helping to plan and carry out the Houthi missile and drone attacks, but Iran denies any involvement. The Houthis deny being an Iranian proxy. The country's supreme leader made clear in June 2023 how Western nations cannot prevent Iran from building nuclear weapons. At the time, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said a deal with the West was possible, but only if its nuclear infrastructure remained intact. Iran has always denied having any intention to build a nuclear weapon. But in recent years, the Islamic Republic has expanded its stockpile of uranium. In 2023, its total enriched uranium was 21 times more than the nuclear limits previously imposed on it. Sanam Vakil, the Middle East and North Africa program director at Chatham House, told Sky News the nuclear capabilities of Iran wouldn't necessarily be the first place Israel would target in any retaliatory strike. She added, if Israel targeted Iran directly, it might be looking for similar targets, military compounds, somewhere it wouldn't incur civilian or broader infrastructural damage in the same way Iran did so. Of course, it would be very risky because it could open the Pandora's box to a broader conflict that we've all been fearing. 